Are you ready for some good news? Desire. Some religions want to curb it, and some want to extinguish it, but the gospel affirms it. Here's today's text from Psalm 42. As a deer pants for flowing stream, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? At risk of oversimplifying a faith, of which I'm no expert, Buddhism is built on what is called Four Noble Truths. Life is suffering. Suffering comes from desire. There can be an end to suffering when desire ceases, and the way to live is through an eightfold path. It, it makes sense at one level. The less you desire, the less vulnerable you are to disappointment. But of course, there is a fundamental flaw in the aspiration to extinguish desire. The desire to end suffering is still a desire. Other religious systems rely on legalism to curb desire. I remember seeing one Islamic website which shared seemingly good advice to a young woman who was seeking to control her desires by suggesting things like lower the gaze when in mixed company, avoid thinking about desire as much as possible, spend one's time in useful pursuits. When I reflect on the fundamental beliefs of Buddhism and Islam, I'm struck by how oddly similar those attitudes towards desire are to the thought process of many Christians I know. Some Christians speak as if the real mark of spirituality is to deny yourself, forget what you want, and learn to have no desires for self. Other segments of the Christian church lay out rules designed to fence in desire. But the whole story of the Bible does just the opposite. Abraham wants a baby. Jacob wants to be blessed. Hebrew slaves want to be free. And God actually approaches Solomon and says, what do you want? When Jesus ministered, he never said to a thirsty woman or a blind man, can't you just be content with your life as it is? In fact, Jesus never says you shouldn't desire. He says the opposite. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. C.S. Lewis once wrote about this and said, Our Lord finds our desires not too strong, but too weak. He said that we're like half-hearted creatures and we're fooling about with drink and sex and ambition when infinite joy is offered us. He compared it to an ignorant child who wants to go on making mud pies in a slum because he cannot imagine what is meant by the offer of a holiday at sea. And I love this line from C.S. Lewis. We are far too easily pleased. A.W. Tozer put it plainly, God waits to be wanted. See, God made desire and put it in the human heart. Deep down, He is what we want. And that's the gospel. Well, that is today's daily devotional. And if you want even more good news, you can get the whole radio broadcast and lots of other free resources at sharingthelight.org. Thank you.